Hello and welcome to Math 252. In this lesson, we are going to discuss a simple yet an important topic. Before we go for the examples maybe that we are going to discuss, there are a few things that we need to note. Tips that will help you on learning or maybe doing questions involving integers. Tip number one, any number has a sign in front of <laughs> any number always have got a sign on the tip's left hand side. That sign can either be positive or it can be negative. Tip number two, when we are carrying on operations that is either addition or subtraction of integers, like signs are always added. So therefore we say like signs add and you retain the sign of the number. That is to say, if they have positive sign, then the positive sign will be retained. And if they have a negative sign, then the negative sign will be retained. For example, if you have negative 3 minus 4, that one gives you negative 7. That is, we add the two numbers, 3 plus 4, and then we retain the sign they had. Number two, if you have positive 3 plus 4, they have both of them same sign, add them together. 3 plus 4, that is 7, and then you retain the sign they had that is positive. Tip number three, unlike signs, we subtract, or unlike signs, subtract, and retain the sign of the greater number. That is, if two numbers have got different signs, A, that is positive and negative, subtract them, and then you retain the sign of the greater number. For example, if you have negative 3 plus 4, the two numbers have a different sign, that is negative 3 and then positive 4. We subtract first, that is 4 minus 3, which is 1. And then because 4 is greater than 3, we retain the sign of positive, which is 4, positive 4, then becomes that one, positive 1. In the second one, we have negative 6 plus 2. The two numbers have a different sign. We subtract first, that is 6 minus 2, and then retain the sign of the number which is greater. 6 is greater than 2, and therefore because 6 has got negative, the answer has got negative 4. Tip number 4. Like signs in multiplication and division will give you a positive sign. That is, if two numbers have got the same sign and you are either multiplying or you are dividing, then the result will always be having a positive sign. For example, negative 2 times negative 3 gives you positive, positive 6. Positive 2 times positive 3 will also give you positive 6. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 will also give you positive 2. Positive 4 divided by positive 4 will also give you positive 4. That is two numbers with the same sign, either multiply or divide, the result will always be a positive number. Tip number four and the final one, you have unlike signs in multiplication and division will give you a negative sign. But if two numbers you are either multiplying or you are dividing and they have the different signs, that is one of them has a positive, another one has negative, then the result or the final answer will always be having a negative number. For instance, if you have negative two times positive three, then we have that answer becomes negative 6. Negative 6 divided by positive 2 will also become negative 6. So if you are dividing or you are multiplying two numbers with different sign, consider your answer must contain now a negative sign. Let's see some examples so that we can maybe illustrate this process or this concept further. Example 1. Evaluate negative 8 divided by 2 plus 12 times 9 minus 4 times 6 divided by 56 divided by 7 times 2. So in this type of questions, maybe if you encounter them, it's always easier that you split the fraction into two parts, the, numer the, the, the part, the numerator, and the denominator part. Then solve them separately and then later on you, we, it's easier to combine. So let's focus on the first part that is the numerator. The numerator part we have negative 8 
divided by 2 plus 12 of times 9 minus 4 times 6. This can further be divided into three parts, that is negative 8 divided by 2 plus 12 of times 9 minus 4 times 6. The same way that we apply the board mass in the normal fractions, on integers also we can apply them and we normally apply the board mass. So always consider or use board mass where necessary. Start with board mass with the border, board maybe with bracket, sorry. You followed by off, we then followed by division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, in that order. Addition and subtraction sometimes you can even start maybe the subtraction instead of addition. And similarly maybe the division and the, and the multiplication. But it's always good you follow the order the way they are. So negative 8 divided by 2, those are division of two numbers with different signs. We are therefore expecting to have a negative answer here. So here we have positive 12 of times positive 9. Then we shall also have in a positive number here because we are multiplying the like times numbers here. On the same side we have negative positive 4 times 6 again. We shall be having a positive number on the final one. But again, the first one now becomes negative 4 plus 108. 12 times 9 is 108. The second one becomes negative 24 because we have 4 times 6 is positive 24. Then we have negative outside the bracket that is negative times positive also gives you negative 24. This can add further be written as 108 minus 28 because negative 4 minus 24 can be summed up as negative 28. 108 minus 28 is equal to 28. That is the answer for the numerator. We can go for the denominator. The denominator we have 56 divided by 7 times 2. So 56 divided by 7 times 2. We can as well now start with the division and then come back for the multiplication. 56 divided by 7 is 8. 8 times 2 gives you 16. So the denominator will also have 16. So we can now combine the two, the numerator and the denominator, that is numerator divided by denominator, gives you 80 divided by 16, which is equal to positive 5. So this is the answer for this question. So please make sure you do the numerator aside, denominator on the other side, combine later on after you have gotten your answers for each one of them, and then get your answer smooth. Example number two. We also have evaluate. The second one is 28 minus minus 18 divided by negative 2 minus 15 minus minus 2 times minus 6. Cos minus 2 minus 6 have both of them bracket, then divide by 3. So in this case, it is easier also to divide the two fractions that we do the first fraction first. Then the second fraction last. Now, let's start with the first fraction. That is 28 minus 18. Sorry, 28 minus bracket minus 18 divided by minus 2. So the first one is 28 minus minus is minus times minus. That is positive. And therefore, it becomes 28 plus 18 divided by negative 2. 28 plus 18 is 46. 46 divided by negative 2 gives you negative 23. So in this case, we have only opened the bracket. That is negative times negative gives you a positive number. Therefore, 28 minus minus 18 is the same as 28 minus 28 plus 18. 28 plus 18 is 46. Therefore, a positive number divided by negative number, we said, also gives you a negative answer. That is negative 23. Consider the second fraction, that is 15 minus, in bracket, into bracket minus 2, into bracket minus 6. So in this case, we shall also, first of all, multiply the two bracket, that is negative 2, times negative 6, that is positive 12 of, then positive 12 of, times negative outside, gives you 15 minus 12 of, divided by 3. I just summarized that one. On the part of negative 2 times negative 6, that is in positive 12. And of course, we have a negative sign outside the bracket. Therefore, that is 15 minus 12. 15 minus 12 divided by 3 gives you 15 minus 12 is 3. 
3 divided by 3 is equal to positive 1. Then since we have gotten two answers for the two fractions, then we can combine the two fractions. That is negative 23 minus, which is in between the two brackets, plus 1. That is to say negative 23 minus 1. Negative 23 minus 1, this is two signs, two numbers with the same sign. Then we said we add them and then we retain the sign they have. That is negative 23 minus 1 is equal to minus 24. Having said that, we can stop here for, for today, but I have given, I have prepared again for two questions that maybe you can use as an assignment. You can try this one at your own level. Pause the video and then write down the question, try them, and then I have given you at the end of the question, we have the answers for the two questions. Each one of them, I've just written the answer. So maybe you can write down that one on paper and then check whether you can get that same answer. If you get the answer, give yourself a very good clap. And if not, then maybe you can leave me in the comment section. I wish you all the best. Please let's start this journey together and move forward in realization of maybe your potentials and improving where you have weaknesses in mathematics. This is a very simple subject that we can all of us improve and I hope that if we stay together for long we can some we can get maybe something out of this. Thank you for your time and may God bless you. Those are the questions that is the assignment I have given you.